guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis, me, once again. Welcome back to another movie review, AK After I Saw. This time it is going to be on Pig. Now, Pig stars Nicolas Cage as this old, dreary man who still lives, like, in an old time, even though it takes place during a modern perspective in a city. He basically lives in the woods with a pig, which he uses to find truffles in oak trees. And when that pig gets stolen, he has to go out with Alex Wolf, and they have to try and figure out who took this pig. And, uh, like, they go to certain restaurants that are selling truffles and stuff. And uh, basically, um, instead of, you know, focusing a lot more on trying to get this pig, we focus a lot more on Nicolas Cage. Like, uh, basically, we don't know what his name is until, like, 20, maybe 30 minutes into the movie and stuff like that. It's basically a focus on Nicolas Cage and his character. And pretty much that's easily the best way I can describe it. Instead of being like this thriller where he's just like urging to get his pig back, like I want this pig back so I can get truffles and stuff. No, he treats his pig more like family. He loves his pig and he wants to get that pig back so he can love it because pretty much uh, that's the only thing he pretty much has. Like uh, he has a relationship with Alex Wolf, he, who I wouldn't say he treats like a son, I mean, his father is someone else in the movie, but uh, yeah. Now, I went in this film knowing nothing about this film, knowing that all that I know is that Nicolas Cage started in it, and he's had a pretty good career with films like Mandy and Color Out of Space, and honestly, this is probably his best film ever, okay? This film, wow, I mean, to think that after 15 years when he makes films like Wicker Man, a film that is just so terrible, it could have almost ruined his career. He makes this film 15 years later. He makes this film 15 years later. And this film, it really had me, like, invested, like, what exactly what was going to happen later on in the film. Like, was he going to get this pick back? Like, this movie's completely unpredictable. And that's the best way I can describe it, okay? Nicholas Cage, he gives it his all in here. I mean, he's not over the top or crazy, except for, like, maybe a couple of parts, but... He is phenomenal in this, okay? He's the reason to see this movie, okay? And this movie is focused a lot on him, okay? Alex Wolf is also fantastic in this movie as well, okay? Both of them work really great together in this film, and honestly, they give some of my favorite performances of the year so far. Also, I really enjoyed the music here. The music really sets in for the tone of the movie, okay? And there are parts in this movie where I thought, you know, Nicolas Cage was going to go so over the top. Like, he could have gone like John Wick just and just beat the crap out of these people to get his pick back. But no, he's not really a violent man. He never throws a single punch in this. He's pretty much taking punches, and it's not a violent film. I thought this was going to be like a horror film, like a thriller or suspense film but no it's more of a drama and more of about him and basically not really his specifically his life of this pig but why he pretty much you know lives alone and with this pig and what exactly this pig is good for because there are also times in this movie where you know he cooks food and like we see like dead animals and stuff like that and honestly it just felt like I don't know exactly the best way to describe it but there are parts where he interacts with multiple different characters and the way he's you know like interacting with them and basically like when we actually get to see you know his connection with those characters like it just had me intrigued i was very invested throughout this whole thing like i wanted to know exactly what was going to happen like with this pig and if he's ever going to get it back like what exactly is going to happen in the end guys i cannot tell you how much i loved this film okay it's not a long film okay it's a very slow moving film but you know it's definitely not a very heavy, you know, violent thriller, but it's more of a drama, and it focuses a lot on Nicolas Cage's character development. His character alone is the reason to see this movie, okay? He's fantastic. He's not too crazy or over the top, even though that's basically what he's best known for, but easily he gives us my favorite performance he's ever given, okay? Not to mention his facial design, like his beard and stuff, the fact that his face is very bloody throughout, like, so that was fantastic, okay? The makeup work and the beard work is absolutely phenomenal. If this movie is playing near you, then I highly advise to go see it, okay? It's one of my favorites of the year so far, and it's truly a masterpiece on almost every single level. In fact, it is a masterpiece on every single level, okay? I absolutely love this film. I highly advise to go see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be seeing Jungle Cruise this weekend. I'm also really looking forward to Green Knight. I'm super excited for that film. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out. It's going to be on Escape Room 2 Tournament of Champions.